Today we will build three coat hooks or leash hangers that display our three dogs and organize their stuff. My idea was to design three small hangers with an abstract picture of each of the three dogs. So the first challenge was to take a picture from each dog. It took me some time and help from the kids in order to get a decent shot from each of the dogs from the side. I bring these pictures into Inkscape, which is a free alternative to Illustrator. Here I place the image on its own layer and disable editing so that I can't move the original bitmap. On a second layer I place dots around the outline of the dog. I just make sure to put a dot on each corner and put some more dots in the areas with a lot of details such as the hat. On another layer I trace the outline by connecting the centers of the circles. This step is only necessary if you want to cut the outline. As we will see later in my case I could have skipped this step. With the Voroni diagram tool from the extensions menu, I create a Delaunay triangulation resulting in low poly triangle shapes between the dots. I create these one section at a time and remove the excess. Most likely there is a more efficient way to create this grid. If you know, please let me know in the comments. Using the built-in CNC add-on from Inkscape, I export the shape directly to a G-code file. Before routing the pattern in a MDF piece, I first apply two coats of black paint to the MDF and let the paint fully dry. On the CNC I follow the triangular pattern with a V-bit. For the first dog I started cutting the outline with a straight bit. However, given how thin the legs are, I was worried that they might break, changed my design and stopped cutting the outline. For the two other dogs, I only engraved the pattern and ignored the outline. You can clearly see that my CNC bed is not perfectly level as the thickness of the lines is changing quite a bit, but in this case that really doesn't matter. To give the MDF a more interesting shape, I temporarily place the hooks for the wardrobe on the dog. With a ruler I draw a polygon around the engraved dog, always keeping a certain distance from the dog shape. I use my table saw and the miter saw to cut the polygon following my shock lines. The MDF is now sanded and gets two coats of black paint. Once the black paint is dry to the touch, I use a chamfer bit to give the outline a look similar to the carving. After thoroughly removing all the dust, I apply a few coats of clear varnish and attach the hooks. These dogs go on the side of the storage shelf I've built in another video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and if you are into woodworking, digital tools and all kind of fun projects, please subscribe to my channel. If you want to take a look at my future projects, you can follow me on Instagram.